Let's look at this question, which is again a question on nonlinear graph. Now, the equation that we see here is a simple equation of a parabola. So I'm not going into much detail. You should be knowing this quite well. So this is a parabola which is upside down. You can do graph this in different ways. But just looking at this, I can say that x intercepts are 0 and 8. Okay, so how do, how do, how do I know that? Uh, I'm saying the x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So when can y be 0? When x is 0 or x is 8. So that's how I uh, find the x-intercept. y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So when you put x is equal to 0, the y-intercept is also 0. So the vertex, so that this is the x-intercept or 0, 0. The origin is the x and the y-intercept. Okay, so and the vertex is halfway between the x-intercepts, so this is the uh, x value of the vertex. So you can draw the uh, line, or what do you say, call this, uh, the symmetry, the line of symmetry. So this is the line of symmetry, and when you put uh, x is equal to 4 in this equation, uh, y would be 16. Okay, so this is your... Uh, vertex okay so the parabola let me use a different color would look somewhat like this my graphing skill would not be that good but I'll do my best to draw it so this is a this is a rough sketch of the parabola okay, now this is an achieved question this is level 1 or year 11 students can do this quite easily but the actual question starts from here question B the monthly profit of a school young enterprise scheme, the acronym is YES. YES group is modeled by this function. So what they're saying is, this is this equation models the business or the enterprise of the school by this equation, where X is the number of months that the group has been trading. So what they're saying is your X axis is the number of months Okay, and your y-axis is what? And the y is the profit for the month in $100. So you can say the y-axis is profit okay, in, in $100. Okay, in $100. Uh, okay, so here, how, let us read the graph. So what they're saying is this models their enterprise. So if this is what models their business, what they're saying is they started with zero profit, and uh, as they uh, as they went along, the profit increased, and they reached the maximum of 1,600 profit. So this is 4 comma 16, or in the fourth month they had a profit of 1,600 dollars. Okay, that's what they're saying, and after the fourth month, their profit dropped. And in the eighth month, it again became zero. That's what the parabola tells me. So let's read the question. The first question is find the maximum profit that occurs. Sorry, find when the maximum profit occurs. So it occurs in the fourth month. You can say in the fourth month, you had the maximum profit and calculate the maximum monthly profit in 100. So in the fourth month, you had a profit of 1600. That's it. So that's the answer for one. On the same grid, use use for part A, sketch the graph of this. So let's read that. So this is the equation of a circle, which is x minus 4 squared plus y minus 0 squared is equal to r squared. So I'll write the general form of a circle. The general form of a circle equation is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. This is the general form of the equation of a circle, where in this, the center is a comma zero, a comma b, and the radius is r. So when you compare this with this, uh, okay, let, let us read the question, where r is the maximum monthly profit calculated in B1. So, 
R in B1, the maximum profit is 1600. The question is not framed that well because the problem is uh, if you want to, if you put 1600, the radius would be 40 and you can't draw the circle. You can't draw a circle of radius 40 on this grid. So I'm reading between the lines. What they're trying to tell us is take R as 16, okay? Where R is the monthly profit uh, calculated in B1, okay? So here, uh, so here, if you want to write this uh, is 1600 or 16 is for 1600. So this equation, I'm writing like this, x minus 4 squared plus y minus 0 squared is equal to 16 squared. So here the center of this circle is 4 comma 0 and a radius of 16. So let us sketch that graph. So let me use a different color, say green. So the radius or so the center is 4 comma 0 and you have a radius of 16. So 4 to 16, uh, you have to go up to 20, yeah. Am I right? Yeah, it go up to 4 plus 16 is 20. And here you have to go up to 12. Am I right? Yeah. And then here you have to go up to 16. So this is the circle. And here it goes up to uh, 16. Yeah. Hopefully I'm right. So, yeah. So this is a circle. So let me draw the circle with a different color. Say, let me use brown. So the circle would go somewhat like this. Uh, I could uh, use a different pen. I should use this. So if I draw, I'll try my maximum. So this is the circle that they're talking about. This is a horrible circle. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, so I think you can draw much better than me. Okay. So this is a circle. <laughs> Okay, I don't like this, so let me try to draw, use a circle tool. Okay, I hopefully, I'm okay, I'll try my level best to get to fit to this. Probably I'm not able to do it a good job about it, so but I'll try. I think I've done a good job. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying is. This is horrible. Okay, so I'll not play with this anymore. Okay, so I hope you understand. So this is a circle. Uh, again, I'm not happy with this. So this is a circle. So let me try again, last try. This is a circle of radius. This is 4 plus 12 is 16. 4 plus 16 is 20. This is 16. So yeah, I'll give it last try so this is a circle okay i think this is much better than the last one okay so this is a circle okay that's much better okay <laughs> yeah okay so this is uh so this uh, we have done this question now the last question is jake does not think the model y is equal to minus x times x minus 8 fits well for the four months well after four months of trading so what is what the, what is what he is saying is if this is a model okay the this parabola doesn't model their business or the profit of the business quite well so okay so that's not a good model after the fourth month that means this branch doesn't model their profit. The first branch is fine. The second model doesn't work well. Okay, so let's read further. After four months of trading, he uses the model of the circle for the remaining six months. So what is he saying is, for the remaining six months, so in the tenth month, so this is this is this is the branch he's in, we are talking about. So let me use this from here. 
this is says coming somewhere here so what he's saying is this models his business much better so let me use a different color this branch or this circle models their business much better than this branch of the parabola okay if that is so for the remaining six months okay so six months means four plus six is four plus six yeah so up to the 10th month okay so this is what they're talking about okay mm, let me finish it off uh, the yes pro project ends after 10 months for the 10 month for the 10 months that the group is trading define the function giving restriction of x and y values of the model so the profit what they're saying is why uh, the model is this okay so let's read the question for the 10 months that the group is trading define the function the function is y okay so yeah the equation of the circle is x minus 4 squared plus y squared is equal to 16 squared so when they're asking to define the function they're asking to write this in terms of y so can i write y squared is 16 squared minus 16 squared minus x minus 4 squared so y as a function of x would be square root of 16 squared minus x minus 4 squared so this is what they're asking that is y is your profit and x is the number of months and uh, finally give restriction for x and y values of the model okay so x your restriction of x is is between 10 and 4 greater than 4 and less than 10 okay and for y what will be the restriction for y okay so this will become so yeah so your profit is the maximum profit for this circle the model will not be uh, what is the restriction of y so here 16 squared y when would this become uh, this would become 16 when x is when x is more than 4, what will happen? This will be greater than 16. Okay. So your maximum profit, uh, so you can see your restriction of y. So when x is when x is equal to 4, what will happen? When x is 4, when x is equal to 4, y would be square root of 16 squared minus this will become zero isn't it four minus four is zero so this is y would be 16 when x is 10 what will happen to y when x is 10 y would become square root of 16 squared minus uh, 10 minus four is 10 minus 4 is 6. 6 squared is 36. Am I right? If you put 10 here, 10 minus 4 is 6 and 6 squared is 36. So this y is equal to square root of 256 minus 36, which is, so let me use a calculator. Uh, so menu run. So you have shift square root of I'll put the 16 squared minus let me use a calculator like this uh, we have got 10 minus 4 squared will it work so it is 14 point so your maximum profit is say you can say this is 14.8 so y is 14.8 so you can say y is greater than 14.8 and less than 16 so does it make sense let us look up in a, let us look in your graph so when x is 10 it is your graph it's 14 point something so your y is between 14 and 
or 14.8 or between 15 and 16. Hopefully this video has been helpful and the last question is an excellence question. Uh, hopefully if I haven't done any mistake and if I have, I'll come back and rectify myself. See you in the next video.